Hi, I'm Lorraine Fouché, your media specialist here at Barack and Michelle Obama Academy. And myself and our awesome cameraman, Mr. Farmer, are here just to show you a couple of things today on this awesome device. So on this device, you'll be able to click here on our Microsoft Office Store. When you're in the Microsoft Office Store, I want you to look for and search for whiteboard. You click the search button and type whiteboard. This is an awesome application that will be very useful within your classroom. Once you have it open, as you can tell, I already have it downloaded and installed, but you'll click install. It may ask you to sign in, bypass that, just cancel or exit out of that. It will automatically begin to download to your awesome new device, the Boxlight device. Once you get to this point, you'll click launch and it will launch. Of course, we need to go ahead and accept. With any applications, you have to give it rights and it's gonna get started. I'm gonna enlarge this. And obviously, you see me using my fingers. We can definitely use our fingers and you know you also have your nifty pins on your board that you can utilize as well. So let's go through the get started. And I would advise you to just go ahead and go through each one of these just so you can read the information here and say, let's go. As you can see, I know absolutely that I'm in my APS account because that's the photo that I've identified for my accounts with APS. So always make sure that you're signed into your APS account, even on your device, because not only can you use this here on your whiteboard, you'll be able to use this on your laptops or any other device that you have um, rights to. So in this device today, we just wanted to look in this particular application, application today. I wanted you to just see it and it is a whiteboard. You can see once I touched it and it's a plethora of paper. Um, basically, if you see, it's one long continuous sheet of paper. Yes, you can take your time and add things to it, almost like a slide presentation or a PowerPoint. But that has individual slides. Remember, this is one long sheet of paper, so you have to make sure that you are um, zoomed in or zoomed out to see things. Um, we'll go over the toolbar quickly, and remember, this is not your only tutorial. This is just a little introduction just to see how you can actually add applications on. But in this particular application, you have the pen tool and all these awesome colors, rulers, ropes, and all kinds of stuff. You have the alphabet where you can type tool if I wanted to type something. You have a attachment or a actually a sticky note that you can actually place on this particular um, application. And then of course this is images where I want to bring in something. Um, remember you do have on the Microsoft feature the Bing image library or the library image from your actual uh, device. but. If you're like I am, you'll work between Google as well as Microsoft. So you might find all of your individual images on Google, save them, and then bring them in that way. You have the plus symbol where you can add, you can paste, add a note grid. Let's go back to that plus symbol. A note grid, list, this is one of my favorites. Actually, that one is too. Follow up preview list. Um, template, stickers, PDFs, Word documents, and PowerPoint documents. You can embed all of this into your nice area here. If you want to get rid of anything, you can kind of click it and the trash can goes there. It's kind of intuitive, and I know you'll get there. So once again, paste, a note grid. I'm not going to go too much in depth in this, but it's a little note grid, and you can actually slide them out if you wanted to re- um, situated and all of that good stuff. And as well, as I said, you can zoom this in so you can actually see the entire thing. It's so cool. And hit that trash can to delete anything that you want to get or start over with. Um, also up under here, we have the list preview. So you could have a um, heading and different tasks that the students must complete upon entering your classroom. Also, you have a follow-up list, um, some follow-ups. Maybe they started something and now you want to follow up with them, assign to, likes, and so forth, and a task. Maybe someone is your um, monitor of the classroom. You may have a classroom list of jobs. You have um, a template. You have these awesome templates here that you can just pull up. I'll go in more in depth into this in our next video, but you have different templates you can go into problem solving, KWL, so forth and so on.
Also, you have stickers. I think we kind of went over that a little bit. So if you wanted to use a sticker for a certain student project work, if they were actually able to come up and interact with the board. And then you have a PDF, Word, and PowerPoint documents that you can embed into that. So this is just a quick introduction into this awesome application titled Microsoft Whiteboard.